guess who we're meeting there? Meg from Bugs Dolls. I'm so excited. And Jake. Jake as well. Um, Mia's in the back. And so is Alette. I brought Mia and Alette because I want to get Alette's ears pierced. And Meg's bringing her Izzy doll, which is her Isabel doll. And then, of course, I'm bringing Mia because Mia is my girl. And then she's bringing James and Nikki. And I get to meet the iconic James. I'm so excited. Um, Dominic's pretty much just getting drugged with me because I don't want to go by myself. Are you excited to go to the American Girl store? Next time we talk to you guys, we will be in Chicago. Twins. Twins. Yeah. Okay, it is now the next day. I was originally going to make like a part two of this, like unboxing everything I got yesterday, but unfortunately I did not get like enough 
footage <laughs> for like this whole video to just be a vlog. I was really just enjoying my time there and getting to hang out with Meg and Jake. And it was so fun. It was seriously so fun. It was just a really cool experience, especially going back to the American Girl Place Chicago after three years. It has changed so much since last time I was there. It was crazy. I had so much fun with Meg. It was so fun. We left Chicago, my boyfriend and I, Dominic and I, we left Chicago at like 4.30 and we were stuck in traffic for two hours and I had like a severe migraine. And I go to the doctors today. So like, sorry if I'm like a little bit out of it. I'm just really excited to open this stuff. There was a little clip in the vlog though. Um, Meg and I got our Isabel dolls ears pierced. She got her Izzy dolls pierced and I got a Let's ears pierced. She looks so cute. I love her outfit. She's wearing an American Girl Plays New York shirt. This is a shirt that I got way back in like 2009, I feel like. But I also got earrings with the piercing. Um, I've never seen these before. It's this earring pack. They come free with a piercing, which I think is really cool. These can be dangles or they can make it look like they have studs going up their ears, which I didn't know that. Meg put them on there like that and she sent me a picture. So I kind of want to try it now. This looks really cool, actually. I don't think I would use the star earrings with it, but it's like very like glitzy. You could also have them just like a star dangle, which is cool, but I really like that it looks like they have multiple ear piercings. I think that's really fun. And of course, I got little mini doll bags. Um, they also gave me more at the checkout. I love the mini American Girl bags. I think they're so cute. They're just so fun to have. Just like, I don't know. I didn't get any pictures of my dolls. Like in front of the store holding a bag, so that's unfortunate. But like I said, I was just really enjoying the experience. So while I was there, I did spend a pretty penny, but I got a lot of stuff that I had been wanting, some stuff that I had been needing and specifically saving to get for this trip because like I said, I've known about it for a few months. So I was really excited to get that stuff. I got some other stuff that like I wasn't fully anticipating on getting and I there was also a few things that I didn't get that I wanted to get. But I also had to buy Taylor Swift tickets yesterday and I feel like that speaks for itself. I had to spend a lot of money yesterday. I'm not gonna say what I got yet and you guys will just like be able to see as we go. So let's get into unboxing everything I got yesterday. I'm really excited. Also here's Mia. Of course she's wearing her old hockey jersey and then Team USA cause she's an Olympian now. Also the Chicago store no longer has the display of all of the past girl of the year dolls and that almost made me cry. Cause that has been there forever and they don't have it anymore and I was gonna make a TikTok and I didn't because they don't have it anymore. This store looks so different, I don't know. Also, I put Mia's hoops in because like she was feeling fancy and that's the extent of her fanciness. All right, so first we are just going to start off with like these smaller things that I got. They're exciting, but they're like less exciting than the, the bigger things. So first I got this everything I need to know I learned from American Girl book. Um, I originally intended on getting this for my niece, but like she is one. So she like hasn't been around American Girl like she won't remember it. So I might end up keeping this for myself, but really cute. I love it. Um, not sure if I'm going to give it to her. I might wait to give it to her until like later in her life, but I don't know. I thought it was really cute. I have to read it still, but I love that it's all like the classic historicals and I think it's really cute. Next, I got Freedom for Addie. This book is 100% for my niece. Um, it's really cute. I love Addie, you guys know that. She is my favorite historical character, so I was really excited to get her some books for Christmas. And it comes with a poster too, which is super fun, super cute. And then I also got her Molly's Christmas surprise. I love Molly. Molly is my grandma's favorite doll. So it's really special that my niece will get it too. And it also comes with stickers in the back, which they're so cute. I love the little stickers, but I'm excited to read this one as well. Like I said, these are going to be a Christmas gift for my niece. She will be one when Christmas comes around. So obviously she won't be reading these herself, but she loves books and she will get to grow up with these books, which I think is really fun. Next, I got a new doll hairbrush because all of mine are so crusty and I don't know why. They get so gross so fast. Um, I do kind of want to open this because like it looks different than the one that I have for some reason. Like it's obviously a different color, but oh, this looks dangerous. But like the it looks wider or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like, I don't know. Because like the new dolls have different hair. So I don't know if it's a different kind of brush or maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm definitely going crazy. This brush feels 
normal. Wait, maybe not, hang on. Okay, no, I'm definitely just going crazy. It's like the same thing except a different color. It's like literally the same thing. And like the copyright is way bigger on it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this just because this one is like super crusty. Maybe I'm being dramatic about it, but I just wanted a new one. I don't like the color of this one either. I like this one. This one has like a very nice color to it. I have the really old purple one too from like the doll hair book. And that one is like, this part is literally ripping out of it. So I don't know. I was like, I guess really rough when I brushed my doll's hair as a kid. Also this bristle is like messed up. I don't know, kind of boring, but I'm showing it anyways. And then here are just the other two doll bags that they gave me at checkout. I think this was a really cute touch. It was very special, like, I don't know. Meg and I obviously brought our dolls with us and like, I didn't feel like they were like weirded out or anything. Like when we got our dolls ears pierced, they like made us like high five the dolls and everything. Like it was just like a very good experience. Like when you go to build a bear as an adult, they still make you like do silly things when you're putting the stuffing in your bear. And I like thought that was really cool that they did that at American Girl too. So yeah, that's that. Next, I got a mystery pack, and it's not really a mystery because Meg and I literally went through all of them and felt them to see what was in each one. Shout out to ag.ashgirl1904 because she taught us this little trick, but they also have like a cheat sheet now of the barcode. You can tell what it is, but this one is the carton of milk and the carton of eggs, which I'm super excited about because I've wanted doll eggs for so long now, so I'm really excited. I don't think I have a carton of milk. I honestly don't remember. I think I might have one from like Walmart or something, but I'm really excited. Oh my God. Yep. We were right. Yes. I love that. Oh my God. So here is a little carton of milk. This was probably like, I definitely paid way too much money for this. Like, I think this is your $8. Yeah. They're $8, but like still, yes. Carton of milk. I wanted to buy more. I should have. I kind of regret not buying more, but it's fine. And then here are the eggs. Or oh, there's screws in them. What? It just says farm fresh free range six organic eggs. Oh, they're so cute though. I'm so freaking happy to finally have doll eggs. You guys don't understand how long I've wanted doll eggs. Did these come out? They definitely don't, but like if I unscrew it, will they come out? I don't know. So cute though. This was really exciting for me. I'm just excited to have doll eggs now. And then here is the little sheet that says what comes in the mystery packs. I really wanted the olive oil and the salt and the salt and pepper shakers. They definitely had the olive oil. They had so many of the rolling pins and the cheese graters. I don't think they had the salt and pepper though, but I really wanted the, the salt and pepper. But it was really cute. It was really fun. It was fun to like go through all of them and touch them. So next, I did not need this. I had no intention on buying this today, but I saw it and I wanted it because I kind of forgot it existed. So this is the Western chic outfit. This outfit has been around for so long, like seriously for so long. And it has really good, just simple, basic pieces. And I really appreciate that. So I'm excited to have it. It was one of the less expensive outfits. So that is one reason why I bought it. And I think that there's just really good basic pieces in it. And Meg kind of talked me into buying it a little bit. Like I was debating on it and I was probably going to buy it anyways, but like she really convinced me. Ooh, this is so exciting. I'm so glad I get to share this stuff with you guys. Okay. Oh, the little shirt. Oh, oh it's so pretty. And like, I feel like this, it just feels so good. Like such good quality. And like, look at the embroidery detail on here. Like the little flowers. <laughs> And of course, it's the Velcro in the back. It doesn't Velcro all the way down, which I like. Oh, it's just so cute. And this is such an easy multi-seasonal shirt. Like you could just throw a cardigan on it and call it a day. Or if it's summertime, you don't even need a shirt. And I think it's really pretty. It's really flattering on the dolls and yay, I have it. All right, here are the pants. I always need more doll jeans and these are obviously like a more jegging material, but they look better than the other jeggings that I have. I think the ones that I have are from Walmart and these ones just, they just look better. They look more like denim -y. I don't know. And I feel like you could roll them up and it wouldn't be weird because they look like denim on the inside, but they're really soft. They just slip on. They've got the elastic around the waist. Super cute. Love. And then the shoes, I love these boots. They are such a basic, honestly, like 
doll shoes are such a must i don't know and these are just great boots like the little detail like with the side tassel and just the nice detail on the front here i think they're really cute and these could be multi-seasonal as well because it's not like they're fuzzy or anything and they're not super tall so they're just they're super cute super perfect i love it and then next is the little bandana which is like goes around their neck right like it, it's their neck but this is like very much able to be worn in their hair which i would totally like wear in their hair way more than i would around their neck because like i don't know but it's like a what material is this see-through that's not right silk no i my brain's not working but you know what i mean like it's see-through but it's it's got like the bandana material it doesn't look see-through if it's just like sitting down but like against the light it really does but it's super cute i think it's gonna look really cute in their hair it reminds me of julie's bandana from her calico outfit i believe oh my gosh it could be a shirt too like all those trendy shirts i love that so that is the western chic outfit super cute i'm really happy i got this just because it was like an easy little like oh i'm just gonna throw it in the bag and i'm really happy to have it i actually am going to research though when i'm done filming how old this outfit really is because i feel like this outfit has been around for at least five years maybe i'm stretching it but i have been i've seen this outfit in like every catalog since i was a kid and i don't even get catalogs anymore so next is molly's plaid school outfit i'm really excited about this i really wanted more of molly's collection because molly was my grandma's doll and i have inherited her in a sense um and i want more of her collection because my grandma collected a few pieces from it when she had molly and now that i have her i would just want to like continue doing that because i think that's really special and i like this outfit because it is kind of multi-purpose it's obviously a school outfit but to me it kind of looks like a christmas outfit I do have Molly's velvet green Christmas dress, so this won't be hers. I kind of feel like Alette would wear this. I'm not sure though, but it's just got great basic pieces too. I love the shoes. I love the saddle shoes. So let's open her up. I'm super excited about this one. Oh, okay. Cute. Okay, so here is the dress. Why did I not realize it had yellow in it? It does not look yellow. Anyways, still Christmassy, still cute. Um, lots of good detail on it. It's got the kind of square neckline, and then the pleated skirt, and then the back it velcros halfway down. Actually, no, yeah, it does. Okay, it's a little more than half, but this piece is just very timeless, and I really like that. Next is the undershirt. I love this shirt. It is so beautiful. This is such an amazing piece. And they even have the little detail where you can like, so it's tighter around the doll's arms. That is, dare I say, Pleasant Company reflected. Like, do they even do this anymore? This is very Pleasant Company of them to do. But it Velcros only at the top, right? Yeah, I find that a little odd that it doesn't go all the way down, but still really cute. I mean, look at the detail around the hem right there. I don't even know if I'm saying the right words. And it's got like little balloon sleeves kind of. And then next are the saddle shoes. I'm also stupid because I swore on everything holy that Molly had black saddle shoes, but apparently they're navy blue, like the ones on her, or in her camp I don't know how to pronounce it, but her camp outfit. I thought those were black, but they're navy. But these ones are really cute. Very, very cute. I love saddle shoes. I think they're so cute. I would love a pair of saddle shoes, but I don't love the color red. I don't know why, but these will do because they're just so cute. The laces kind of look a little cheap though. I won't lie. I don't know what about them looks cheap, but they just, they feel a little cheap to me. But other than that, they feel really nice. The bottoms feel like real rubber, and I really like that. And then we have her little socks. I have so many pairs of socks for Molly. Like, every single outfit that she has, I swear it comes with a pair of socks that look just like this. They're just, like, crew socks. So, yeah. And then the ribbons for her hair. Super cute. I'm probably going to leave these in here just so I don't lose them. And then it also has her little booklet. So that is Molly's school outfit. Super cute. I'm really excited to put this on her and style it for Christmas, honestly, too. Like, I'm really excited. I think Alette would rock this. It's just festive. I don't know. 
All right, now this is the last thing I got. Like I said, I wish I got more. There's a few things that I wanted still, but it's fine. So, I got Molly's school accessories. Little backstory. I wanted this so bad as a kid, and I don't even know why. I think I just, like, was obsessed with the binder. And when I went to the American Girl store in Chicago when I was younger, my mom said I could not get it. And so I'm kind of buying this, like in spite of her, but like in a loving way, because I have it now. But now I also have Molly. I didn't have Molly back then. But she needs a backpack. All of my dolls have backpacks, I'm pretty sure. Actually, probably not anymore, but they used to all have backpacks. So Molly needs a backpack too. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, wait. This feels so nice. And it has a little Molly McIntyre thing. This isn't removable though which I think is weird. Wait. Okay, the paper is like sticking out from underneath of that. That's weird. Anyways, super cute. I love it. It feels really nice. It feels really good quality. The little, all of the buckle details too. Oh my gosh. So do they, do you actually have to like buckle them in? Are you serious? I wish it was just a snap. Okay, well, Let's open up the little pockets, I guess. This is gonna take me so long. I wish it was snaps. That's like probably not authentic, but still. At least there isn't like a stick you have to put in it. You know what I mean? So there's the front little pocket. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, I finally got it. So here is the inside of that. It's very roomy. It's very large, very cute. I love this, actually. It's really cute. It's like looking a lot more red on my phone than it actually is. It's more of a deep red. This is making it look really bright, but it's more of a darker red. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next we have the sheets of paper. <gasps> this is so fun. This is making my inner child so happy because I wanted this so bad. Do they come apart? Oh my gosh, they do. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But the little sheets of paper, I love doll paper. I love doll school stuff in general, so cute. And then her little pencil bag that goes in the binder. Ugh, I'm so excited. I didn't realize this stuff all came like apart. So I'm excited to put it all in there. It just zips open. I love that, it's so cute. I'll grab the binder next because it's only fitting. So here is her binder. Oh, it feels really nice. Okay, that's really cool, actually. How do you open it? Oh, that's easy. Okay, <gasps> fun, love. Put the paper in in her little pencil bag. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that. We'll pull her little pencils out next. Whoa, these are like multicolored colored pencils. When I was a kid, I always thought these actually worked. Do these actually work? No. I always like would press them on the paper really hard to pretend that they worked. But they're like multicolored. That is a sticker. You guys can definitely tell that that's just a sticker they put on there and then they put like epoxy over it. That's a little cheap, I won't lie. But let's put that in there. And her little eraser, this is so small but it's, it's a good little detail. This kind of feels like a really racer, but it's definitely just plain rubber. It's so tiny though, like it's so small. Put that in her binder. And then these are her actual pencils. They're a like kind of burnt orange color almost actually. They're wood though. I feel like these should work. Wait. I think I'm just like stripping the paint off of them. I'm doing like what I did when I was a kid. Like, I feel like they should work. That looks like a dot of a Sharpie. Doesn't that not look like someone just like took a Sharpie and put a dot on it? I'm being like way too critical, but like, I feel like I always am when I open current American Girl stuff. Next, we have her report card. I always loved the report cards. I have Kit's report card as well. Jefferson Public School. She's not doing good in math or music, apparently. Her grades are decreasing. I love that. I love that little detail. And then lastly, we have her little flashcards. Oh, you have to rip them apart. Okay. Whoa. All right. So you just break those apart. I kind of expected that. 
Um, apparently she really needs to learn her eight times tables. So here's Molly's school supplies. I'm really happy with everything. I really love the bag. The bag is my favorite part and I'm just happy that I have this from, but cause I wanted it as a kid. So I'm gonna put everything in the bag. Let's like see how long this takes me. I don't know where to put this so it doesn't like get bent. I'm gonna put it between the papers. Probably forget about it and then freak out. I'm gonna put her flashcards in her front little pocket. This is going to be the death of me. And then her binder. I love how it fits just like so perfectly in there. Maybe for a child with smaller hands, this would be easier. All right, there it is. I love it, it's so cute. Okay, so I have put the school outfit on Molly and the Western Chic outfit on Sage and they look really cute. So I'm gonna show you guys Molly. Also, I did not braid her hair. I couldn't summon the energy to do it. So here she is. I think she looks so cute. I love this dress. I'm obsessed with this shirt. It's so pretty. And I love the little saddle shoes. I think she looks really cute. I'm excited to use this as like a holiday dress as well. It's so beautiful. I really like the shirt. It's really cute. And the shoes. The shoes are very Christmassy too. And then here is the Western chic outfit. It is so cute. This, the little scarf looks so good in their hair. It is literally perfect. I'm scared it was gonna be too small just because I wasn't sure how like it would fit. I don't know, because it was meant to be around their neck. But it's so cute. I love it so much. I love the shoes. I love the pants. And I, the scarf is definitely my favorite part of it. Just because it's not super red. It's kind of a little bit pink. But it's really cute. And it looks really cute on Sage. But I'm really excited for all of these individual pieces. And yeah, this outfit retails for $30. Which is mildly cheap for an American Girl outfit. And for the detail in this shirt, I would definitely recommend getting this. Just because everything in this set is really good for basics. And... I think it's worth the money. I mean, it comes with four things, but like that, I think that's, this is a good price for what it comes with. And every, it feels really good quality. Like I have nothing to complain about. You guys know me, I like to critique, but yeah. So that is all I have for you guys for this video. I'm sorry if my energy was really low during this last part. It's, it's been a really rough night because of my headaches and I went to the doctor today and it wasn't any help. So I'm feeling discouraged, but I'm really excited to have all this stuff and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Now I have to clean up the mess that I made, but I'm actually just going to sit down and relax for a little bit. I might watch a movie. I had so much fun meeting Meg. I had so much fun going to the American Girl store and just hanging out with her and Jake, my boyfriend, of course. And I can't wait to do it again someday. <laughs> but I love you all so much. Thank you all for the love and support you have all given me over these last months. <laughs> And I'm really grateful to have these opportunities to meet people that I never thought I would meet. I never thought I would have friends that share the same interests as me or just have friends in general. Because I don't have very many. So it's really special to me and I'm very grateful to have the experiences that I have because of YouTube and Instagram to an extent. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.